Hello everyone. In this video tonight, I'd like to read about whether he's into you. So, I have four tarot decks in front of me. If you want to have this reading, please choose one, two, three or four decks for different people. Take your time. Okay. Have you chosen? Let's start with the deck number one. Okay, is he into you? Does he fancy you? Okay. Let's pull three cards. <clears throat> okay. So I have strength here and four of pentacles here and prince of wands here. Well, I kind of get that. Yes, they are. Um, the cards are very passionate. The cards are very strong. First of all, strength card. The strength. Um, it's usually... Um, look, now after strength, we have four of pentacles. It can mean that the person is into you. They are... Um, Really, they like you, they're attracted to you, but they're kind of trying to control their emotions. They are withholding, they don't showing it. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles, a person usually uh, holds back their emotions and uh, they are for some reason afraid to risk, you know, uh, their friendship or whatever by um, telling you this. So, yeah, and now. The last card is the Prince of Wands, which is the Knight of Wands. So it's a very passionate night. It's a very passionate night. It usually means, um, you know, travel and movement, but it's also fire. So, yeah, I feel that they are into you. They kind of, they're kind of coming towards you. They kind of want to you know coming towards you you know in a very um very in a way that basically um is very forceful and very manly and very powerful you know and maybe they will you know maybe they will you know strength Definitely strength and prince of uh, knight of wands. Yeah, they are into you. Now let's ask whether they will do something about initiating. Will they say something? Will something happen? Seven of Wands, Four of Swords, and Seven of... Oh, it's a chariot. Definitely, yes. I think definitely, yes. So we have this again. Four of Swords in the middle. As if Seven of Wands is... um They are like... As if they are fighting with themselves in a conflict. As if they are can I actually do or not and these thoughts are coming and he's just uh, trying to you know fight them back and maybe I see this as inner an indecision or inner you know trying to um, fight it back maybe the you know your relationship is very interesting maybe you are different people and maybe it wasn't expected for him that they would become into you. So this sort of have this inner 
conflict. Now with the Four of Swords, here we have them attaining a peace of mind. Maybe we'll, they will back off for a while uh, from you, from the situation. Maybe, maybe they will um, sort of um, need time to gather what they think and feel and, you know, all that stuff. Maybe they'll just let go of it for a while. And after they let go, probably they will know what to do. And here we see the chariot. Will they do anything about you? So if uh, one meaning can be that yes, they will um, they will go there conquering you. They will go um, towards you. You know, like um, they will do some action, some concrete action. And they will be kind of successful in that action. They don't see like a real... Mm, coward <laughs> how to put it they, they're not afraid you don't see one of those people who are afraid but they might think about you more is it uh, okay for you if they are sort of um, going towards you very you know passionately and straightforwardly also I cannot stop noticing it's very interesting look these two cards strength and seven of wands you kind of talk about self-control we talk about self-control and um, you know, you know, controlling the instincts and some sort of um, trying to be patient or trying to sort of work it out, something like that. Like there is a conflict. Now these two cards talk about peace and stability, like fours, two fours. I have four of pentacles and four of swords. So here is um, basically they will not move a finger probably. Because they don't want to spoil their where, where they are financial situation or social situation, you know. But with Four of Swords also, they kind of want mental stability. But with these cards, this is a movement. This is like a trip. Knight of Wands is moving, you know, towards and Chariot also moving. Also, these two cards can mean travel. And now... Uh, I have this question that will they travel away from you or I mean will they travel like they will travel on some trip you know physical normal trip uh, or will they go metaphorically straight towards you so just one last card to see um, are they traveling are they going into you towards you or are they just traveling somewhere and you will be separated physically what do you mean? Three of Empress. Well, they want to nurture this relationship. They might go towards you. If they are married man, they will go to their wife. Yeah, but if they are not married man, they will go to the woman they love. The woman they fancy. And I think it can be you. Six of Pentacles. Sharing. He has been kind and generous. And... I do think there is a possibility <clears throat> that they, you know, fancy you and they are into you and they want to go towards you. There is another possibility that they will travel to their wife if they are married. And... Um, I don't know, they can travel to their mom as well. But if uh, it doesn't make sense, it means they'll travel to you. It means they will do something about you. Okay. Let's look at the deck number two. Are they into you? Do they fancy you? Again, strength card. So interesting. Okay. So first, of course, I do think they fancy you. Uh, for me, um, strength is always a physical attraction. It's like 
physical attraction cannot control it's like you know our body is uh, being drawn to that person you know we cannot do anything about it it's like chemical reaction happening um but <clears throat> here we see this opportunity like um a gift you know opportunity <clears throat> that you met opportunity that came falling from the sky and maybe it's a new relationship and um it made them feel good about themselves. A page of wands can talk about messages and communication between you two. And strength can also talk about actually communication because it's mouth. Here we see this mouth. So I definitely think that uh, they are, this person here, they are more um, open are they into yes i think they are to be honest they're into and they and they're brave they're willing to speak i think here you know this page of wands it's it wants to communicate you know page of wands is a messenger wants to talk so i think the uh, it's a new new thing also and um strength can also have this element of trying to control yourself, trying to, you know, behave, <laughs> how to say. But with these two, it, it can be some sort of um, brave uh, courage and wanting to say it, that I like you. Now, will they do something? Will they say it? I definitely think they will. Look, they've seen this opportunity. Um, it's like this and this this hand holding a globe and this hand holding a pentacle so you are like opportunity also the decision they're deciding what to do to say or not to say to go or not to go through this door into this um opportunity you know what it offers and then i think they are um, trying to like maybe like calm down and meditate uh, maybe they think let's let's wait a little you know let's see well, let's wait for the right opportunity maybe they want to just take some time and again uh, feel it more feel it more uh, how to do it when to do it you know that sort of thing and uh, here <clears throat> we see basically interaction between people uh, he is giving money to this person so i do think there'll be interaction between you uh it doesn't necessarily have to be giving the money you know to you it doesn't necessarily mean they will give money to you i think it can be any conversation it can be it can be sharing and we also see it from one to another you know from one cup to another there is water being uh poured and here from hand to the hand, the money is being poured. So it basically shows that he will give you something and you will take it. So interaction will be there and it will be a positive interaction. Harmonious, calm and wise and inspired. And I think you will be over, overall, you know, happy. Maybe he will invite you somewhere like, so in that sense, we get the... Uh, that he will spend on you like he'll say let's go to see a movie or let's go to do something you know together so at the same time it will be giving the money and directly you know and at the same time the human interaction will happen someone will give and you will take and the sharing of emotion sharing of conversation something like that okay yeah so it's a yes here i think yeah let's look at the deck number three deck number three are they into you do they fancy you? will they do anything about it are they into you deck number three do they do anything about it Okay, here uh, I think they are in a relationship. 
they are into you. They are into you. But they are in a relationship already. Why? Because, look, the Three of Cups, it shows three people together. It's usually, it can be a love triangle. But it can be a group of friends or being mm, meeting someone at a party. It can be something like that. Or having a drink with someone once, you know. And that's sort of nice, fun time. And then we see Two of Pentacles means... They can be managing two relationships, especially when it came with the Three of Cups. And the Five of Rods, again, shows um, inability to decide, you know, inner conflict and um, and uh, maybe thinking that you're different people as well, not only inner conflict, maybe inner conflict because... He thinks you are different people and what happened here, you know, I, I can't fancy her. She's so different. And, um, you know, it's kind of keep uh, arguing with himself in his mind, you know, what to do, what not to do. Um, it is like this and this. So I get this, that they have this <clears throat> uh, very, like, um, con contrasting opinions about the situation and they're kind of confused because they can't decide what's the right thing but i believe that they're into you otherwise they wouldn't have had this inner conflict and wouldn't have had two of pentacles here they're kind of busy yeah they're kind of busy and maybe social also and they meet many people you know like they go out a lot they meet many people and uh, and maybe in, in, in the midst of that, they kind of, you know, also feel something for you. It can be that also with you, they argue your relationship with you is a little intense, you know. Uh, you feel awkward, you know, what to say, how to say it. It can be this also. But nevertheless, I think still they're into you. Now, let's look at, uh, will they do anything about it? So we see King of Cups and Three of Rods and Justice. So he, now a little bit in love, they are a little bit fancying you. So they reflected, uh, reflected as the King of Cups. And they're looking here, now they're looking at all the situation. They're thinking, should I do this? You know, how will it be? You know, they're thinking about it. They're actually giving it a thought. And justice, well, justice usually comes with three of cups and two of pentacles for me. And it's kind of, they, they will choose not to do it because that will be wrong. Yeah. I think because they're already in a relationship, that, that's why they'll be wrong. And they will choose to be right. They will choose to be just and do the right thing. That's why justice came up. Okay. <clears throat> that's it. Let's move on to the reading number four. And the question is, do they fancy you? Are they into you? And are they going to do anything about it? Wow. <clears throat> okay, so are they into you? We have interesting uh, spread with three chord cards. So this card represents that, yes, uh, the Knight of Cups, yeah, that there is um, this already happening, this uh, romantic, flirt, flirty type of, you know, energy going on between you. Something that's uh, sweeping you off your feet. Is it the right way to say? Um, it's already happening. It's already happening. He is already there Spurring your emotions and the air is already romantic around you. 
you know, the Knight of Cups. Maybe uh, he's just, it can be being in love, you know. It's like the prince on the white horse came, you know, and your attention is there. And it can just um, mean that basically romance is there. Not a person, just a feeling of romance is there. Now, King of Wands, he's here in the center. And he definitely thinks about a woman. He's looking for romance. Yeah, he's looking for romance. He is open to it. And he is very, um, how to say, he is very strong, he's very sexual, he's very attractive, he's very, I don't know how to say, but he definitely is into you if you are the Queen of Cups. Yeah, if you're the Queen of Cups. I feel it's basically the woman that is loved. And here I, I somehow feel that yes, again, I think that it's a yes. Well, it can be a no if it's another woman. Yeah, the Queen of Cups is someone else. So let's see here. Will they do anything about it? Now there are basically, I see two meanings. One says, it's your wishful thinking, madam. You know, don't be a fool. <laughs> it's literally like that. Um, like as if you are expecting this, that, you know, he will basically come. So it shows your wish. And that's you. And the full card can be literally, don't be a fool, you know. That's one meaning, yeah, if it's not you. The other meaning can be that he's ready to go out and drink with you and have fun and do what not, you know, just, you know, he doesn't care. He is crazy about you. You know, the other meaning is that he wants to basically have a fun time with you. He wants to go bars and restaurants and he wants to indulge in, you know, themselves and do things. And they don't care what others will think about them. They want to let it loose. So I feel, I feel there are two meanings in this. Uh, now, how to know? Who is this Queen of Cups? Give me more information about the Queen of Cups. Look at someone else. <laughs> she is the third one. She is the third one. So, sorry. <laughs> This one is a no. I guess the meaning is first. Don't be a fool, madam. He's not gonna do anything about it. Because he has someone else. Yeah. Okay. That was reading number four. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.